Louise Bennett loved words. She played with them, she ate them up for breakfast, served with roasted breadfruits, ackee and saltfish. She swallowed each word whole. Miss Lou was a cultural ambassador of Jamaica. She uh, was a playwright, a TV show host, a radio personality, a poet, a writer. Miss Lou was an important figure because she was one of the first people to take the Jamaican spoken language, that is Patois, and create a space for it and to celebrate it and to put it into the forefront at a time where people, um, many people were ashamed of the language. September 2019 is very important because on the 7th, in 1919, Louise Bennett Coverley was born. This year marks her 100th anniversary. I learned about Miss Lou when I was about 10 years old and that became a source of inspiration for me. There's not very much written about Miss Lou's life. I really wanted to hone in on that moment when uh, I think the magic started for Miss Lou, when she had that aha that she had this talent and that she uh, had this gift that can be shared with the world. So a different book list is a bookstore. Uh, I have a connection with this place because they have supported and celebrated my work and helped to nurture me as a writer. At this bookstore, there is a legacy of activism and community here, and I think that's all very important. My parents are of Jamaican heritage. I am a first-generation Canadian. I am teaching the future, um, the descendants of those immigrants. I feel like so many kids need to know about Miss Lou. I think they would help them to appreciate their language and their culture more. I think it would help them to be more playful with language. When it came to speaking, Louise's words got stuck in her throat, but she found a way to unlock them. Her pen was the key and her notebook the door. La, 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 la.